Hi, my name is Mike Peterson, and I'm a coach here at Golden Gate Fencing Center. And today, we're going to be showing you the types of weapons that you would be using when you learn to fence by watching uh, these books. The first thing we'd like to do is introduce you to the weapons. The first weapon is the foil. The foil is the lightest of the weapons. The blade is about 43 inches long. It ends in a tip that has a metallic button at the end of it that is part of the electrical scoring uh, apparatus. The bell guard is a smaller bell guard that is there to uh, allow the fencer to deflect the opponent's blade away from their target area. This is called an orthopedic grip. It's designed to be held in your hand in a very comfortable manner that provides power, strength, and dexterity to the person using the foil. The target area in foil is the torso of the body. So the foil is a thrusting weapon like this instead of a cutting weapon. The next weapon is the epee. The blade of the epee is a little bit thicker and wider and is actually triangular in shape. This makes it just a little bit more stiff than the foil blade. At this end of the epee, we have a small button, and that button is called a tip. This tip is connected to a wire, and what's interesting about the epee is there's a groove that runs down the blade, and that groove is where we essentially glue the wire into the blade and it runs all the way down through the bell guard. It comes out the other side of the bell guard and you can see those wires uh, right there and connects to this socket. This socket is then connected to a body cord which will run up the sleeve underneath the jacket and out the back. The third weapon we want to use is called the saber. Now the saber is the only weapon in the sport of fencing that's actually a cutting weapon. If you look at the very end of the saber, unlike the foil and unlike the epee, it has no tip. You can score with the saber with the tip or the side of the weapon. You'll notice that the bell guard is differently shaped. It curves around your hand and that is to protect your hand from cuts and allow you to capture the opponent's blade uh, against your bell guard and your blade so that you can stop their attack from scoring. The second thing that you'll notice is that the handle is shaped differently. The handle is a French grip handle and uh, it's a straight handle with a slight curve to it that kind of molds itself to your hand. And to hold the saber, you simply put your thumb on top, wrap your fingers around like this and make certain that the bottom of the saber is at the bottom of your hand here, and that's the position that you would hold the saber in. It's very important that when you are learning to fence, you are always aware of safety. Please don't fence without your full protective gear, and always, always uh, store your equipment out of harm's way.